What's up all you acoustic guitarists out there? This is Brent Brown and I wanted to give you a quick video on my top tips for performing live with an acoustic and also for recording in studio. So I'm going to make this really quick. First off, I want to say if you are going to get a guitar to play in loud environments, I highly suggest you get something that has the EQ like this on the side. Uh, I'm going to display a diagram right here and feel free to come back to this and check out the different aspects of that so that you can make a proper purchase if you have not yet. If you have it and you don't use it a lot, this is how I utilize um, this all, all these buttons here. So essentially, if we're in open, this is my guitar's DI pickup. It's a, it's a piezo electric pickup underneath the saddle here. So it's just a strip of aluminum essentially picking that up. But then uh, the notch filter is going to cut out the low frequency or add it in, you can kind of sweep it. Now, if I want to do like a, a capo, sometimes it's missing some of that low end, so really quick. Ooh, I got it back, you see? Um, but anyways, sometimes just turning up the bass doesn't work, and that notch is huge, that notch filter. And then also on this guitar, we got the contour frequency, which takes the mid EQ on it, and uh, the bottom slider, which also you can see displayed here, the bottom slider that goes horizontally, positions whether you're boosting or cutting where that is positioned. So, I'm gonna do a cut, so. So you can hear, it's doing a lot of stuff, but the, the other huge one which most guitars have that have a unit like this is the phase. So you see, uh, you could be playing in a loud environment and everybody's voices, I found, it's so weird. I'll, I'll find like a crowd, their voices will all start to get in the same frequency as my guitar sometimes. And I could be like, hey, and switch this quick, hey. And all of a sudden the guitar is cutting through the room. And it, so between the notch and the phase, those are my two favorite for just really quick cutting um, through without having to reach over, go to your mixer, try to figure, like that just, I've tried that. I've tried, you know, like a professional ground unit. I, my other guitar doesn't have any of this fancy stuff on it. So that's my studio guitar or like quiet, more quiet performance guitar because they, it, it just won't go over in a loud room to not have this control right here, especially looping. Anyways, now I'm going to turn off the DI and I'm going to drop the microphone and show you some things to do for recording your guitar. Number one is just position it differently and just move around the microphone and see where you think it sounds good. A lot of people are gonna tell you to have it so it's positioned pointing at the sound hole from about 12th fret right here. I'll show you that in a second. But I've also found it's pretty cool too. If you even go down here, it's gonna get bassy so kind of listen to get the bass out maybe move back but you can also do like a low cut on the whole thing and decide where that sounds good but it depends what you're going for sometimes you want to hear more strings in your recording you can use two microphones but i found you can do some pretty great guitar recording with only one microphone if you're just listening to what it's doing and then also uh if you add compression see what that does to your guitar too because it can it can round out the bass frequencies of the guitar that's why i like compression a lot so another thing well, let me position this better so kind of the recommended one I want that like anyway 
so you can see kind of how the tone can change a lot from just repositioning. Next I want to mention is your pick choice. I gotta buy some more of these. This is a wood pick by Talia, and this really warms up the sound. So if it's too bright for you. This is my normal pick. So sometimes I'm like, ah, that's too bright for recording. In loud rooms, that's always golden. But then uh, you can get a lighter pick um, if you're doing more of like a, a, a quick strumming or like a, you want something like pretty and airy. I'm also picking way down here by the, by the saddle. Yeah. And, uh, as, as far as any other questions you might have, feel free to ask, but I think the acoustic recording or performing live, sometimes the tone might be a little elusive, and it has been to me for a long time, but I've pretty much boiled it down to those things. If you're doing those while recording, uh, it's, it's your golden. And if you want a plugin, that is my favorite plugin, pretty much for just getting started on anything, I'm not really sure where to get started, is Schlepp's Omnichannel by Waves. It, Waves is a very popular program. I'll link uh, it in the description, but just get that. There's a bunch of presets. There's one for the acoustic. Just try it out. It's freaking awesome. It is way, way cheap compared to what it does. So anyways, y'all are awesome. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped. Hit subscribe, and I'll see you around soon. All right, peace.